We take care of every worker and leave no one behind. Uplifting our low-wage workers has been and will always be a priority for the PAP government. You have to see our moves on progressive wages, our moves on LQS, workfare and others as part of our multi-layered support for our low-wage workers from workfare to skills development to career ladders down to housing, education, CPF and even healthcare. So this is how the government commits itself to make sure that no one is left behind. As Prime Minister Lee had shared during his National Day rally speech, we will be making some significant moves to help our low-wage workers. So with the tripartite work group, we are ensuring that the PAP government keeps pace with our workers' evolving needs and aspirations. Some of the considerations guiding the tripartite work group for low-wage workers is to ensure that our low-wage workers progress together with the rest of Singapore. What we will implement to uplift low-wage workers must be sustainable, tailored to Singapore's context, and does not result in poorer outcomes for workers that we are trying to help. The other consideration we took was to support the whole-of-society approach in uplifting our lower-wage workers. The progressive wage model, or PWM, benefits workers by mapping out a clear career pathway for their wages to rise along with training and improvements in productivity and standards. Now, at the same time, employers benefit from having more productive workers. What the pandemic has shown is that the PWM is a lot more resilient. The lowest rung is technically a minimum wage, but we're able to move quickly, more nimbly, because they are carved out by sectors, and we're able to optimise the wages that each sector can bear over a period of time. We also have sectors that can move up even in the downturn and the rest can catch up like food and retail as the economy recovers. So if you look at countries such as the US and other major economies, they've had their minimum wages stuck for many years. The last revision in the US Federal's minimum wage was in 2009 and before that 1998, 1997, which you can, you can see is not so easy to move and much worse so in the downturn. What it has also done, that it's sealed and renewed tripartite compact. The buy-in from employers and our union leaders and the government has shown our determination to bridge our low-wage workers closer to the rest of Singapore from meeting up by agreeing on sustainable moves. Now, if these moves are successful in the years to come, it may well set the bar on how we can achieve this sustainably and create a win-win condition for the worker and the employer so that Singapore as a whole is united and progresses as one.